morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It is, I think it's probably the 29th of July here. Happy Sunday time once again for Missy Jen Belly up to the bar here. Time once again for coffee time. And we sure hope that you are having a wonderful, wonderful morning. Got a lot of things to talk about, uh, YouTube, social media, but let's get to some other things uh, first, because uh, Missy Jen, we're always con concerned when things happen on social media, and we just find ourselves, you know, when, when uh, people are fighting and having disagreements, you know, it, it can be, uh, it can be tough, and things can really say really amp up amp up a lot so but let's get to other things number one the California wildfires we have a lot of people uh, checking in with us and asking us you know our situation because of course we were right in the middle of the uh, the worst wildfire and deadliest wildfire in US history last October and we do have a few you can actually smell smoke in the air yeah and there's smoke actually coming over from this way and smoke here. most of that is just the morning morning haze but we are having a we are smelling that smoke not from the Reading fire but we've had uh, two pop-up fires up in uh, Mendocino County in a place called Hopland just over the border from Sonoma into Mendocino uh, County so we're, we're hoping hoping that the winds uh, die down a little bit because we will not get rain. We never get rain out here in the, uh, in the summertime. So a lot of people, unless you live in the area, you're unfamiliar with the uh, climate here. It's a very Mediterranean climate and it's sunny every single day. We don't have thunderstorms. We have very dry, very low humidity. So things tend to uh, dry out here. So I uh, also want to give a shout out to Whiskey OG our friend uh, from up in uh, Shasta County, he had to evacuate with his family down to Sacramento. He was having some real breathing difficulties. And Missy Jen, you can identify with that after yeah. last October. My suggestion, if you're in those fire zones, do what Jen did and get those masks, those microns the masks, yeah, and masks. Yeah. They the one that have that little filter thing. The filter is very, very important in these fire zones because you're continually exposed to this for days and days and days and days. So Whiskey OG, we, uh, you will be in our, always in our thoughts and prayers and uh, the best to you and your family. They're sheltering down in Sacramento. And he did a short video last night uh, commenting that he's breathing a lot easier which is really good. Number two, Jen, we have a uh, we have a wonderful friend, uh, Sue Pete, out in uh, Kansas City, and of course Sue knows Kansas City is uh, right up there is one of my favorite cities in America. Jen will tell you that. I mean, the barbecue you lived in, <clears throat> Casey, yeah, for a while, and uh, it's a great yeah. foodie town. It's a great town for culture. I so much prefer to St. Louis. Uh, Missouri. It's it's just to me a lot more civilized. Absolutely, There's a lot more yeah. interest. Yeah. It's the queen city really of the uh, eastern Great Plains and Sue lives out there and we love Sue Pete and she's wonderful. Missy Jen, she sent us some uh, Gates Mall barbecue sauce, Kansas City's own barbecue sauce, which is great. We love that and thank you honey. We can't wait to try that out on some ribs. And then she sent us uh, Jack Stack, Fiorella's Jack Stack Barbecue. And in 1957, Russ Fiorella opened Fiorella's Smokestack Barbecue and established his family name as the one to know in a city world renowned for great barbecue. His son Jack extended the le legacy to Jack Stack Barbecue, which continues to serve remarkable hickory cook barbecue in Kansas City and between beyond jackstackbbq.com thank you sue thank you wonderful i will get out to kansas city guaranteed we will be uh getting together hanging out and i'm gonna buy you some barbecue so how about that 
Um, Missy Jen, we have uh, travels coming up. I'm going to be doing some uh, pop-up videos. A lot of people ask us about the skincare, staying young, and some other things. So I'm going to have some videos coming up uh, on that. Also, an update on my uh, belly button. Uh, you know, I had the belly button ring uh, done for what, what the fifth time, <laughs> the fifth time, Jen. Yeah. And I finally changed that out. Uh, some people kind of uh, noticed the change there. I'm going to have an update on that. And Missy Jen, we're taking off for Reno. We got Tom coming down mm -hmm. yeah. on Tuesday. Our friend from the Central Valley is coming in, and it's it's a real treat for him because he lives over near Yosemite, and he's been probably getting the smoke down there too, coming down Valley. You know, they had to they had to evacuate. They had to pull everybody out of Yosemite. All the tourists got booted right out. That's how bad the uh, that's how bad the situation is right now. So he he's going to be coming and uh, staying here, keeping an eye on uh, Georgie for a couple day couple days and enjoying the uh, nice, clear, crisp weather here. Hopefully, on the ranch on Missy Jen and I. I can't believe it's been about two years. Since we saw Reno, we're going to be particularly interested in seeing what's changed downtown. Because last time, you know, people really like it when we go on the, what you call it, the low life, the underbelly tour. When we go around in uh, uh, downtown is a, always a sketchy area in Reno. You know, we're sitting in McDonald's, right? And the cops coming in just to rest and take rest down the guy. Somebody <laughs> eating this hamburger, drinking this milkshake. Hey, I'm eating my hamburger here. You know, can't we, uh, can't we wait? <laughs> that chick just uh, manhandled that guy and got him, uh, got him out of there. But they got huge areas of houses condemned two years ago. They were all boarded up, and that was supposed to be all torn down. And be interesting to see what happened now after two years. Yeah, I think this, the um, the city the city condemned a lot of those downtown properties and they actually had chain link fences. It was so, supposed to go to the uh, university, I think. Yeah, I think the University of uh, Nevada, Reno, cam Reno cam campus was going to use that to erect uh, student housing and Missy Jen and I were laughing. That's great. You yeah. go down at lunchtime and... Uh, Gamble right then over at the casino across the street. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, make sure you go down for lunchtime and drop your uh, get New your player morning. card from college, and you get the you get the college break there, and go have a blast at the casino every day. Huh? Right. Mom and Dad will be right. happy, you know, when the tuition goes down the shitter. <laughs> By the time you're done with college, you're like hundred thousand in the fence. That's it, right? And then uh, make sure to pay off your marker, or you can't graduate, right? You got to pay off your uh, pay off your marker. Let's get, uh, so we're going to be heading up there Tuesday, Wednesday, and Missy Jen, we're going to be staying in accommodations I've never stayed in in my life. I don't want to overstate this, but you guys are want, going to want to be along. We'll be, be doing some live stream stuff and some other uh, uh, up there. I think that you'll really enjoy that. I'm going to try to do a lot of uh, just pop-up live streams as we go up there to see how that, uh, to see how that goes. But we're staying in some accommodations I've never stayed in before. Not so much the place we're staying, but the style of room that we've stayed in. You know, we're graduating to players, right? <laughs> Jen's like, stop looking at me. I got no idea where. No, I got no me. idea where the hell we're staying. As far as I'm concerned, we're probably staying like at the Pink Flamingo. Circus, circus, huh? Pink Flamingo with the flea, flea mattresses. Who knows? With the screaming three foot lady. You know, I'm, Don't you make any more I'm noise known to be here. cheap. I'm tired of this crowd. Lord, I'm bleed, bleed, my I'm bleeding. Here. But I'm not that cheap. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that cheap. Let's conclude today. Let's talk about a little bit. Oh, and we did a lot of, uh, we'll get an update for early, early August. We'll do the ranch show update when we get back from Reno. We, we cleared a lot of brush. We trimmed a lot of bush yesterday, trimmed, trimmed the, the orchard. Trees. We really did a lot to sort of <clears throat> open up the, uh, you know, you have things like the, you can't see it on the, 
the side, but we have our wonderful Lady Banks roses, which give us so much privacy along our fence line. But they tend to get really bushy, and you start feeling like you're, you're you have a jungle that's starting to encroach on you. And I don't want the uh, uh, fruit trees to get super tall, so we're keeping everything so it's bushy and filled out very nicely, as, it be, as opposed to being strong. So. We'll do an update in uh, August on that. We, of course, had our first apples that came in on the season. Mm -hmm. Delicious apple pie. Apple pie. Mm -hmm. First one of the uh, season, and we also made the uh, strawberry blueberry tart, which turned out uh, very, very nicely, too. Check so we, out the videos for that. Yeah, check out the videos. Did a um, teeny weeny bikini baking for that which turned out really, uh, really great first double header that we did. And then, of course, we had to taste test in yesterday. Let's, let's finish up today discussing a little bit of social media. And when people fall out on social media, what, Missy Jen, and we've seen, you know, there's, there are, uh, there is a big battle going on involving some of my friends and people that I know on um, and uh, social media because it's kind of painful, especially on YouTube and when it plays out on places like YouTube and Periscope, because you're kind of at a loss. You kind of want to grab both parties by the scruff of the neck and just say, stop, you know, time out, just break. And things, things can get pretty vicious, uh, and things can devolve to physical threats and, and uh, threats of violence and things like that. So we, we, Missy Jen and I, we talk quite often about this. And Jen, our question is, at what point does it end? You know, what's the end game? I mean, what's the goal of each side to, to see somebody totally booted off of social media, to see uh, somebody's every every detail of their life laid out, no matter how unsavory that is. It just, it, it confounds me. I guess that's the word to use. It just, you know, what do you think, Missy Jen? I mean... I have watched an interview with one of the co-creators of Facebook and other social media platforms and he actually retired from all the social media platform positions that he held and he said he realizes now looking at what is going on on the social media platforms that what he partook in is creating a monster because on social media people change narcissistic behavior evolves people just change their attitudes change it's a phenomena that just in general has been really occurring worldwide and also, the phenomenon of is, is people on social media have varying degrees, varying thickness, <clears throat> thicknesses of skin. You know, what might bother, not bother somebody can really trigger somebody else, and you just don't know. You just don't really know what uh, what people are capable of, capable of doing. I mean, the feeling least. of feeling of being safe in a distance that you're behind a keyboard way in a distance from somebody all right we're going to wrap it up in a minute ran out of uh, storage space had to clear off some files but we we're talking about missy jen you were talking about how you think being behind a keyboard can sometimes give you that sense of security yeah a false sense of security yeah. because you think you can talk uh talk smack maybe against somebody that's like a thousand miles away two thousand miles away uh, you know yeah the thing that is down there's me no is security for that if people would never people would never act in real life face to face face to face like on the on the keyboard i mean it's just right. it's it's kind of programmed into us face to face to kind of take up our level of I don't want to say graciousness but politeness um, so that it doesn't become an out and out uh, brawl so you now once again ask yourselves 
if you're engaged in this kind of combat, what's what's the end game? What's the what's the prize? Is there a prize at the uh, at the end? What you're trying to achieve? Because in these social media wars, Missy Jen, it doesn't ever seem to me that uh, you'll ever have such a thing as uh, as victory because many ways that people find to work around and uh, keep popping up. So it's not like a chess game where once a piece is off the board, it's not coming back on. We know in social media that piece can come back over and over and over again. So you really are embroiled in an activity that does have no end to it. Also think about the price that your family and your friends might pay. Yeah, and think about the time and energy when you're you devoting to these activities. you spend all your time and your health, yeah. when you devote all of your time, day and night, in something that you don't benefit of. Yeah, you're better than that. Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up on to Reno. Just a thought. So this we're week, off to Reno, and we are going to have some fun. Have some fun. And be uh, be living be living large up in Reno. Anyway, everybody, happy Sunday to you. Thanks for being along for coffee time. We love having you guys along. Mm.